Challenger. At 26,000 miles per hour, we're fragile as a drop of day. For some, 24 hours is too much time to kill, so they leap off the earth just as their train arrives. They hope the heavy lifting would be easier in space than here where trains go off the rails and there is that pull that we stand up against and that will one day sit us down forever. We all want to be somewhere where there's no gravitational pull to somewhere else. Sometimes I wonder if we're only, if we're sp only splitting atoms out of spite. Then I remember we do it because we can. Even on the subatomic level, we'll stop to watch the crash. We're gawkers, we're leapers, we're suspended in motion. And whose universe is this anyway? Can I claim some part of it? I'm as much stardust as the next nebula. Can I make a rule that outlaws falling? Am I as powerless as a supernova forced to go through the motions? And because it was, so shall it ever be. The mind is a drop of night where we dream of surviving the day. Space junk is a big problem for anyone who thinks they'll float forever. Missions to space go off the rails, and fast too. I just went to the kitchen for a second to boil water, and when I returned, the space shuttle had become a column of hot smoke in the last thoughts of astronauts. Voyager. Voyager 1 has gone interstellar, and we are now traveling betwixt dust and soul. Even before the moon tore its light-shaped rib from the side of our mother, infinite possibility begat this machine that carries our dream of being found. As of yet, we've found no one to find us. But in case we are, and there's a you, and you find an alighted piece of metal streaking through your sky, we've sent a golden record that will play the sounds of Earth in case you have not been listening. Hopefully you have not been listening. Our wars, I'm sure, have made a mighty racket, which is why we sent you whale songs and no Wagner to crash into. We hope you prefer Bach or chanting Navajos, anything but Wagner. We try sometimes to create something we call love. We create all kinds of kooky things we ourselves don't understand. Not much we build here lasts. There is always some better way that comes and kicks another's columns down. We've sent our DNA information in case you're interested. I think we look much better in person. Oh, and a kiss. We've sent you a kiss, or the sound of a kiss. The whale songs are cooler, but we're all, but we're all looking for kisses over here. And love, have you seen it? Do you know it? Any insight would be greatly appreciated. Do you get the feeling that you may never meet the right alien? Is the feeling that you're not at the right party universal? that you want to go dancing instead of sitting here saying your prayers. A lot of what we call imagination has been wasted on what we call religion. So please send a blip or something before some zealot is proven right. Our most dreadful wrongs have been done in the name of right. Do you find yourself alone in a high place where the stars watch the, sty where the, stars watch the sky of darkness and desolation? Do you sometimes wish you were the light in someone else's sky? If you do, we should talk. You might be the one. <laughs>